dear students welcome to nrs youtube channel so dear students in the previous class we discussed regarding characteristics of computer and as well as the role and importance of computer right so in the role and importance of the computer we discussed it in home computing we discussed right so how the computer has taken an a very important place in a home computing right so in home computing we discussed uh, so what are the advantages of computer or information technology in home right so starting from uh, playing uh, video games and for the entertainment and to make the payment right so all these comes under home computing and then we discussed uh, home computing uh, sorry it in banking okay so in banking industry how the computer has taken the place right and uh, we also discussed the it in a library okay so today we will see uh, some more the role and importance of computer in some other field right the first one that is it in the medical science so already in the previous class we discussed so it in medical science in the medical how the computer has uh, you know spread its wing right so in almost all the activities of medical science so here he has given some activities what type of activities we carried out in the medical science so in, if you come to the hospital most of the hospitals start you now uh, starting from the registration of the patient name right so up to, from that up to the the treatment for the patient right so in these two you know uh, activities we use the computers we use information technology so the first one is computerized axial technology okay so in medical science in medical science that is computerized axial technology so what it means it means it gives the 3d picture of the organ it gives the 3d picture of the organ right so already you know the 3d pictures right so the 3d pictures so suppose if any organ of a woman right it will be affected by some any diseases so you can get the idea right you can, for the treatment can the doctors they can go for the computerized axial tomography okay so the output of this it gives it gives the 3d picture of their particular organ next we have magnetic resonance imaging okay in short we also call it as a mri scan okay most of us we heard that mri scan so mri means magnetic resonance imaging it means it gives the internal organ okay so it gives the picture of internal organ suppose a patient suppose a patient if he affected by any internal organ or if he affected or some diseases for the internal organ so to examine to examine that particular organ in the human being we use a mri scan we use mri scan right so next we have ecg ecg in the sense electrocardiogram electrocardiogram it gives the health of the heart okay so to examine to examine health of the heart we use electrocardiogram so examine the health of the heart in a sense the heart beat from the starting from the heart beat and whether the heart vessels so whether they are filled with the uh, you know um, some we have right so this whether it is filled with some blocks or not okay right so the blood pressure blood circulating whether it is healthy or not so that we can check with the help of electrocardiogram electrocardiogram in short we call it as ecg in short we call it as ecg next we have one more that is eeg in the sense electroencephalogram right electroencephalogram it means it uses to examine the activity of the brain okay that is eeg that is electroencephalogram is used to examine the activity of the brain activity of the brain right and one more we have that is blood sugar monitor so 
today almost all the blood pay, uh, sugar patients they use you know the device they monitor their blood pressure or blood sugar level with the help of a device okay so they can use that device and they can easily get the uh, you know that uh, range of their blood sugar okay so next we have blood pressure monitor so as the blood sugar level to check the blood sugar level we have a device in the same manner we have a one more device called blood pressure right so you can examine the blood pressure of a one with the help of that particular device okay so these are the you know activities comes under in medical science so on all these medical uh, activities in medical science we use information technology okay right so next one more we have the it in marketing it in marketing so it in marketing the mainly the computers or information technology is used in marketing for the advertisement right so marketing in the sense it is an advertisement right so the marketing we in marketing we have one thing that is the end user that market or that particular product should be reach should reach at the end of end user it should be reach to the end user to reach that end user we need some advertisements of that particular product okay so to do that we have some information technology in that information technology we have a different type of softwares we have right so the idn marketing so regarding this idn marketing and one more we have idn insurance and one more we have idn workplace and we have idn business right so regarding all this including idn marketing so that we'll see in the next class thank you